Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Karkadash, uh, Barakatham, to the uh, elders, where Akim or Akwaf, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson of uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 9 through verse 10. That's going to be the uh, title of the sit down lesson. And this is uh, the prophet Joel chapter 3, verse 9. It says, Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty man. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. And then you had a, uh, I would say it was a news article uh, from uh, News Now as I was scrolling through the news article. You know, that goes into the uh, wars and rumors of wars. It was a news article of uh, Japan. I mean, not Japan. Let me rephrase that. I meant to say uh, China. You know, they getting they increasingly uh, preparing for war. As they use a uh, simulation, uh, like a stealth bomb attack on a uh, U.S. Uh, stealth jet. You know, they've been doing this quite a while, you know, for the previous years. And as of recently, you know, and those are signs of uh, wars and rumors of wars. Nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. And we see what's taking place over there in, uh, I would say, the uh, South China Sea. As uh, I believe China continues to uh, building up their uh, military, uh, you know, building up their uh, military presence over there near the uh, South China Sea as they get closer and closer to invading Taiwan. As you've been seeing, increasing num numerous reports about uh, Taiwan been uh, uh, monitoring and detaching about China's continuing. Uh, send their submarine warships over there in the area not too far from the south south china sea and getting closer and closer to the uh taiwan islands you know and i believe it was a news article that came out from the website called ntd because i believe that's a news website you know uh alternative news you know it was uh stating that uh because i seen it yesterday uh i seen a video clip of it i believe it was like a minute and four like a minute and two seconds or whatever you know, it was stating that uh, they was reporting that uh, China uh, did a, another military exercise drill, ramping up their uh, preparedness for war in the evasion, getting closer and closer to uh, the Taiwan island, you know. So those escalations are heating up, you know. And we're seeing what's taking place over there in the Korean Peninsula, you know, North Korea versus South Korea, Japan in uh you know north korea versus south korea japan the united states that's heating up as we see in uh you know north korea recently launched two ballistic missiles and then they launched uh largest one i believe is fully equipped with a large uh, nuclear warhead so that shows you that china uh north korea is uh in that increasing preparation for war against uh south korea japan and the united states because, you know, recently, uh, I say the South Korea and Japan recently did a uh, military exercise drills. And, you know, North Korea, he was, North Korea, I mean, South Korea, Kim Jong-un, look at that as a uh, the building up of a, uh, a the Asian version of uh, NATO. And then he sent that warning to uh, Japan and South Korea during that, you know, military exercise drill. So, like, two days like a day or two later, you know, he launched some more missiles towards that area, you know, the eastern shores of Japan and over there in the Korean Peninsula. That shows you that the escalation is only going to uh, ramp up over there, over there in the Korean Peninsula. You know, North Korea versus South Korea, then North Korea versus South Korea, Japan, the United States, that's only going to heat up. And we see what's been taking place over there in Western Asia. Um, nuclear escalations are uh, heating up over there in the area. So you got all these nuclear escalations and tensions are rising up throughout the whole planet Earth is only going to increase. And then there was a news article came out. Uh, I believe it was uh, the United States and Armenia. They're going to do a uh, military exercise drills, you know. Even though the Armenian uh, Azerbaijan situation has cooled down a little bit, but expect to see it is going to increase more and more as well too, you know. And then the uh, Venezuela, Guyana situation that had cooled down a bit. Expect to see that increase more and more and more, you know. And then we'll 
you know, what's been uh, taking place over there in the uh, disputed territory islands, not too far from the South China Tea. Uh, you've been seeing escalations been ramping up between uh, China versus the Philippines doing of a uh, islands dispute, missiles and vessels dispute. You know, because you had a news article just came out saying that uh, Philippines want uh, one million in reimbursements due to the fact that uh, China destroyed their military equipment, their uh, uh, vessels and stuff like that. So we're going to see how that plays out. But we definitely seeing escalations been heating up over there between China and the Philippines or their disputed territory islands not too far from the South China Sea. As you've been seeing, you know, the other nations have been doing the military exercise drills, trilateral min- meetings between uh, Japan, Australia, and the United States and the Philippines. And they've been having the latest military exercise drills been heating up over there as well, too, on both sides. So expect to see escalations are heating up over there in that area as well, too. And this is uh, the prophet Joel in chapter 3, verse 9. Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles, prepare war. Right, so the Heavenly Father's putting that war like man said of these uh, armies of nations around the world, especially over there in the Valley of Jehoshaphat or Western Asia. It says, wake up the mighty man. Right, the Heavenly Father's waking up the mighty man and, and putting that, preparing this war mindset on them. Let all the men of war draw near and let them come up. Right, so it's heating up over there in Western Asia. And this is, uh, let's see. Joel chapter 3 and verse 10. Beat your plowshares and swords and plenty of hooks into spears and let the weak sand squirrel. Right, so let the weak sand squirrel. And as we've been seeing the latest reports of, uh, you know, Iran building up their nuclear capability, we're seeing North Korea building up their nuclear capability, right along with the rest of the other nations building up their nuclear capability and putting their money uh, in their military. They've been increasing. They've been doing large military exercise drills and nuclear escalations are heating up as well too. Now we're starting to see the increasing more and more. You know, uh, nowadays we're seeing the uh, militaries of these uh, nations. Now they're starting to say, hey, let the weak sound scroll. They're being scrolling more uh, now than ever, you know. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying of uh, the Prophet Joel in chapter 3, verse 9 to verse 10. And that was the title of the sit-down lesson. So with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to tell Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Karkadash. And the Heavenly Father, the true name is a Yahweh. And His only begotten Son, Ba'ashem, uh, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash, the whole time. And I say Barakatham to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf. Until next time, I will say Shalom.